Hey and welcome to DJS TV. I'm Richard Burton, your host, and you know we have a very exciting show for you because we have one of the hardest working men in the Department of Juvenile Services. We call him Shola, who is our Executive Director of Safety Services. Correct. Got it right. <laughs> Shola, welcome to the show, man. Welcome. So tell me something. Now, I had the privilege to go out with you a couple of weeks ago and see you in action and working. And first thing I want to ask is, what is the Thrive Academy? So the Thrive Academy is a DJS gun violence reduction uh, uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. um, when uh, the secretary came uh, uh, to the agency, um, he wanted to, you know, uh, start an initiative to address the gun violence, the rise of gun violence, and uh, uh, we partnered with the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform and Any Casey Foundation, and uh, we got some guidance on, you know, the predictive factors for kids that are more likely to be at the highest risk of uh, engaging in gun violence. Wow. And that's how the Tribe Academy came about. But let me ask you this, you know, what is the feedback you're getting from some of the young people that are engaged in the process or the program? We've been getting a lot of positive feedback. Um, one being that our young people really enjoy having a life coach mm -hmm. that is able to help them navigate the process, the day-to-day, -day, you know, process of uh, uh, engaging in their community, uh, education. Um, they, they they support them with uh, uh, navigating resources in their community. Um, they do life coaching, positive programming, conflict resolution. Wow. You know, okay. Yeah, all of that. Our young people really like having somebody that they can call and talk to when they have, you know, need or they have issues going on in the community. How is the community detention program engaging young people in the community? So our community detention program is our alternative to detention, uh, where a young person that um, <clears throat> are eligible for detention uh, is placed on alternative to detention, so they can they can continue working in the community, continue to go to school. Um, what our community detention staff does is they supervise them in the community, they monitor them. Um, they talk to the family, mm -hmm. um, trying to find out if there's anything that is going on with the young people in the community um, so they can put a team together, the case managers, uh, uh, the community detention team, the family, so we can sit around and talk on how to help our families and our young people mm -hmm. you know, to, get the, uh, to, to get what they need so that they can appear in court you know, without real family. Now, I know the ERC, man, we're dealing with community youth, man, and that's a total different type of engagement. I mean, how do you do that aspect of it? Yeah, so the ERC is uh, one of our programs that we use to engage young people in the community. Um, what happens is our young people are being picked up by our ERC staff, either from school or from home. They bring them to the center. Um, we feed them. Um, they do life coaching. You know, they do... Uh, uh, um, they do. They help them with tutoring. They do wow. field trips. They do uh, uh, um, a lot of activity at work. Um, some of our ERC have music studio where a young mm -hmm. person can go in and you know learn different things. Um, they do uh, uh, substance abuse education. They do you know all kind of you know uh, activities at the ERC just to engage our young people in a positive way. You know, Sean, I had the opportunity of attending the Thrive graduation, and man, I was so impressed. Those young people, they were sharp, they were very articulate and, 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 and well-behaved and, and just respectful. And I even have you on video. That's right. You know, at DJS TV, we, we get all the footage. Let's check this out. You guys did a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Listen to your parents. Stay in school and continue to do the work that you've been doing. We love you, and we are here to support man, you. Man, I tell you, I didn't know you had those speaking skills, man. <laughs> Listen, so when we look at the future of the program, where do you see it? I, I'm hoping that the Thrive Academy uh, will be a model that 
juvenile justice uh, um, agencies around the country can adopt and use to work with our young people. Um, our young people need the support. They need the, you know, coaching, the life coaching. Mm -hmm. They need the uh, consistency uh, on how to navigate their communities, how to navigate life and things of that nature. So my hope is that the Thrive Academy will be a, a, a trailblazing, you know, model that the rest of the country can use to work with young people. Now, Cheryl, I didn't prepare you for this next question, but every guest that comes on DGS TV, they have to tell their colleagues one thing about you that they don't know. Maybe you like playing golf. Something about Shola that they don't know. A hobby or... That's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, right? That's a tough one. Well, we know, we know you have a passion and a love for our young people. That's one. Um, that a lot of people don't know. You don't play soccer? Or... I do play soccer. I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do play soccer. Uh, but one thing about me that they don't know is I come from a family of 12. And I am number 11. So for wow. me, you know, coming from a family of 12, you know, I've learned how to deal with, you know, different personalities. So it's important. It's That's helped important. me along the way. Man, Shola, you're welcome to come back to DGS TV anytime and share a lot of that good news that you have. I know you have some good things coming up with that Thrive program, too. Yes, we do. <laughs> anytime. Hey, and thank you for watching DGS TV. See you next time. Thank you.